That's fine. Hello, everyone. Let's hide that. Okay. <clears throat> loud in my ears again. TV! Jesus. I just dragged my screen off. Alright. <coughs> okay. <laughs> so today, um, I want to talk about Zuka Meta. Because I'm seeing very frustrating um, thoughts recently about it. Um, about how it's supposedly worse than Crab Tank Meta. I don't believe that. I don't believe people when they say that. Um, and obviously, look what I'm using. Like, that's... There's some clear bias going on, right? But, at the same time... I do also just not use Azuka very much in terms of my kit. Perhaps that's my downfall. Um, I don't know, I don't really think it is my downfall. I think I'm better not using it. But I guess I'll start with how you should deal with it. And this is probably going to sound like I'm luring you in so that I can kill you more. But no, the first thing you should do is you should approach Zuka. You should go towards them. Because it sucks using Inksuka up close. That's is one of its biggest downfalls for me um, when I'm using Zuka. Is that it is a lot less effective up close than further away. So if somebody whips out Trizuka and you are somewhat near them, try getting closer. I would. Um, something I've always done, a technique that I've always had with this game is I try to linger around walls, like edges, um, and especially when I'm in enemy spawn, you linger around edges, and you kind of sneak around using this weapon. I, I don't know how well it's going to work with other weapons, but it works well with this weapon, I find. Looking around edges, hiding behind walls, and then when somebody comes up and might decide to use something like Trizuka, you have the perfect ending. Obviously, not everybody can do that. Like, there has to be somebody focused on, on objective at all times. But, that's that's how I can target Trizuka in my playstyle. Other people have their own playstyles, of course, and I... You know, I don't use it, so maybe my advice doesn't work as well there. But it works well for me. Um, in this meta, if I stay near the spots where an enemy team may, may use Trizuka... If I just kind of hang around there and, you know, surprise them. But a weapon like this is also good on ledges. Like that. So, if somebody's using Zuka from up here. Then I can, I can just, you know, well. It works better on lower ledges, but I can do that, you know. I can just bap, you know. Ooh. But yeah. That's that's the main thing I do. Just you know, there is the other thing. Um there are some people who criticize I saw not not that long ago. Somebody criticizing the advice that you should hide behind a wall. Because it's possible for Trizuka to get someone from behind a wall. The reason that happens is because of what Trizuka is. If you actually watch a Trizuka shot get fired, it is three separate orbs that circle around a certain point. Um, so look, it's three orbs that orbit around, well, their centroid, around the median. So when it does get you from behind a wall, 
what's happening is the shot is curving around and because of that it's getting behind a wall so it wouldn't that advice doesn't work if you're hanging behind a thinner wall like on let me try and find an example of a thinner wall that you can't hide behind from Trizuka. Um uh, what will have that? I don't know why one isn't immediately coming to mind. Maybe Mako Map has one, I think. Hmm. So the advice might not totally work if you're hanging behind this wall here, because it's a really thin wall. That rotation of the orbs, it might happen to curve around this and kind of do a what's that? What's that shot called in tennis? In table tennis, where it curves around the net, it might do a bit of that kind of activity and hit you. So, if you are hiding behind a wall, stick to the middle of the wall, for one. But also, try to choose a chunkier wall, like this. Azuka's not going to get you from here. It might get you from here, because it will curve over the top of it. But it's less likely to get you if, like, somebody was aiming at you from here. If you were sat here. Or here, here would be a pretty good spot, but... Presume this isn't covered up in the middle and this is a tall wall so it's not going to come over the top that's where you're like less likely but also just hiding behind a chunky wall is going to help with that because by the time it does curve around and it would get past you on a wall like that little these building blocks by the time it'd be able to do that it will have already hit the side of the wall here for instance so don't Maybe don't hide behind a thin wall. And don't hide behind a block either, like one of these. That's just like lining up the side, because that's the cliff where I saw that happen. They were hiding behind like a raised bit on the side of the map. That's that's not gonna help, I don't think. So that's that's a part of it. <coughs> The the other part of it, and this is as it relates to this patch, they, I think, they were inadvertently trying to target Trizuka with some of the buffs to other weapons, but the choices they made for that were weird. Um, but the primary thing, why is that so loud? The primary thing that I'm thinking of here is... The tri the not Trizuka, the Kraken buff and the Killer Whale buff. So when I'm using when I'm using Trizuka, one of the other reasons that it's bad at close up is because there's a lot of downtime between shots, like I'm after I shoot that shot I'm holding down the submerge button. Um and it takes quite a bit before I can actually move properly after firing a shot. So, something like that Killer Whale buff, where it now deals more damage, that's going to be quite impactful against Zuka. Um, because a lot of Zuka players kind of hang around a similar spot and don't move very much while you use their Zuka. So, in a sense, that can help against that. Kraken is less. I will say is less. It's going to be less effective because Trizuka may still be further up, too far away, but also on a ledge. And well, I don't believe you can climb uninkable walls with Kraken. So, and I can test that, but I don't think you can climb up uninkable walls with Kraken. So I think it's. I I think that's kind of a failed attempt. To buff another weapon while targeting 
While targeting the uh, Trizuka. But I think in the situation that a Trizuka user does do something a bit foolish and kind of does it uh, centralized on the map nearer to the floor and you're kind of near them I guess you could go in for them with that but I do think it's less effective I think that's a really weird um, way to target it albeit it may not have been a way to target it at all but I think it was and I don't think it's going to work that well but let's get in so oof I don't like open fuck let's do open why not I'm going to hate it even more in a meta like this, where people are using like three of the same special weapon, but whatever, I'm using it as well. I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, let's, uh, now I want to explain like why I don't think it's as bad as Crab Tank Meta. Crab Tank Meta had this thing where... So Crab Tank was a very long special. Um, it lasts a very long time. You're shooting with Crab Tank for a very long time. And that was what would cause that kind of like standstillness. Um, because one Crab Tank gets its 10 seconds, giving other Crab Tanks on their team time to build their Crab Tank. Once their Crab Tank timer is run out, the new Crab Tank can come in and take its place. And so you could get up to, like, 30 seconds at a time. Which were just standstill moments because people were using so much crab tank. And it just kind of stalled people and it got people locked into... Kind of got people locked into their area. Which sucked. Am I the only Zuka? Oh my god, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm glad, though. Um... But I'm also not glad because I'm not going to be able to point out moments where it failed. Anyway, it had this thing where people would get very stuck because <laughs> people would get very stuck in um, in their areas and they wouldn't move very far or very much because they didn't they didn't want to risk being targeted by a crab tank. And I feel like people have done that less in this meta. I feel like people are better at pushing forward in this meta and not being scared of the special. And I I think part of that is probably down to the fact that it doesn't last as long. Like it, it it's not as long. It's not as a uh, you know, you shoot your three, sh you shoot three shots and it's done. You know, it's not on a time limit, really. And also, it doesn't have like a special armor type of thing. Like you know, when you when you pop out a trizuka, you aren't you aren't hiding behind a kind of shield at all. Like there's no shield with trizuka that. Crab Tank does have, you know, like, Crab Tank didn't, you know, Crab Tanks were extra protected, I guess is what I'm saying, and Trizuka doesn't have that, so if somebody does pop a Trizuka and you're near them, it's a lot easier to take them down, whereas with Crab Tank you have to turn around, you have to get to their back and target them then, only then can you target them, but with Trizuka you can just go straight in. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't run straight forwards towards a Trizuka. That's a bad idea. But, like, if the Trizuka user sucks, then you can do that. Like, that's... It's a lot more possible here than it is with Crab Tank. Crab Tank can also ball up and just be covered in the armor, so... There is that aspect to it where it's harder to take down a Crab Tank than a Trizuka. Um... That's a part of it. And I also, I also just think, uh, 
uh, these these players in casual in a uh, non-competitive Splatoon, just this regular old game. I think uh, I think are doing very. Uh, I think are doing uh, a lot better at dealing with this meta than they were with Crab Tank meta, and that's one of the complaints people have about Crab Tank about this meta that. I think people are kind of rewriting history about on Crab Tank meta. Like, I think Crab, t I think this meta is having is having the Crab Tank meta effect on competitive, but not on casual. Cause playing casual in Crab Tank meta was hell. I hated it. I quit the game for like two months because I just didn't want to play it anymore. Like. And I saw a lot more of that, like a lot more of, oh, what was it? I, I think it was the H3 Nozzle Nose propaganda account literally quit the game because they were sick of not having enough weapons that were good at combating Crab Tank. Um, and they were getting frustrated. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen people do that outside of competitive this time around. Um, and I, you know, I just haven't seen... I don't know where people are seeing casual players experiencing hell over this. Because I don't think we are. <laughs> I'm having a completely fine time. Both when I use Trizuka and when I'm not. Like... Because I don't use it often anyway, I know I just used it. I don't use Crab Tank. I don't use Trisuga very often. Um, and there are some weapons that I like to use that don't have it. Uh, and when I use those weapons, I don't feel stuck in like I did with Crab Tank. But furthermore, I've, I think I'm pretty good at Splat Duelies, and they also have Crab Tank. And when I played Crab Tank, when I played Splat Duelies in Crab Tank meta, it was still hell. I still didn't enjoy it. Whereas using a Trizuka in Trizuka meta, I'm enjoying. And using a non Trizuka in Trizuka meta, I'm still also enjoying. I'm just enjoying myself a lot more, and maybe that's down to having an advantage because I use it and I know its faults and I know how to kill it, and I'm well experienced with its weaknesses, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference um, to me. Um, uh, because I did get I did get good at a crab tank weapon during crab tank meta, and I just didn't find like. I still found it frustrating, like I, I still wasn't injuring myself even when I was using Crab Tank Weapon because I was either overpowering the game, which felt boring, or I was being overpowered in the game, which felt boring. I feel like a lot more casual games, because I only play casual games, I don't play competitive, a lot more of these games have just gone down significantly better, and I've been significantly less frustrated both using and dealing with Trizuka than using and dealing with Crab Tank. I just don't see how how it's worse. Like, it's not. I think what makes it feel worse is that the developers after this patch aren't, they're clearly not learning from their mistakes with Crab Tank Meta. But that complaint can only exist if Crab Tank Meta exists. We would not be having that complaint if Crab Tank Meta didn't do it first, you know. That's what's frustrating about it for me. That's what feels worse about this meta for me. It's not... It's not even the meta itself. It's the fact that the developers are being very slow to deal with it. And they're not dealing with it in as large chunks as they should be. I've already said what I think my nerves would have been. And I'll say it again. I would like a nerf on the startup, and I would also like to move the orbs that make a Trizuka attack closer together.
because not only would that fix the issue where it feels like the shot just goes through players like this, which are just floating in the air, but it would also inadvertently reduce the sp it would reduce the radius of the sixty damage of the fifty three damage. It would naturally do that without actually changing the hitbox of it, which would be very good, I think. I had another one, but I forgot what it was. That's the two big ones, I think. I don't remember what the other one is, but whatever it was, I'm sure it was not much different. I think I would have started with the startup thing. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of just my opinion of it. Like, I just don't see what people are seeing in this meta being worse than Crowd Tank meta. Because, like, I see the similarities, but I just don't think it's worse. I think the only thing that's making it feel worse is the developers not learning from what happened last time, you know. I just wish they were a bit faster and they did do a bit more to deal with it. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's that, that's all I have to say on that. Oh, that's not all I have to say. I've also seen people saying that you can bubble her and that deals with Trizuka. Kind of, not really, I don't think, um, because it, I think popping bubbler during Trizuka shows you're distracted, maybe, I don't know how to articulate what I think about that, but I just don't see bubbler being that good. I might change the shoes, weird, weird tangent, I might change the shoes, they look weird. I want these in black. Hmm. No, not them. Nah, these are better actually. Nah, these are better. Yeah, whatever. Here, let's uh... Let me play a different mode, actually. Can I play Gluger? I've been wanting to play more Glugas, actually. Weirdly enough. Let's do that. Oh, Gluger, Gluger, Glue. <laughs> oh, where's a, where's a brown? Isn't a delightful play and easy, yes. Wizard, Wizard Brown, I care. Da, 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 da. We sing out more and more and more and more and more now. <laughs> he rubs my neck. I rub his thigh. He asks me why I sweat. And I ask him why he bites his nails. And then he takes me in his arms and lights a cigarette. I say, Wizard. Wizard Brown. I see Wizard. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm 
I'm here. What about it? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to focus because I don't usually use this weapon. It seems kind of useless at carbon. <laughs> I shouldn't carbon shame. What are they? What are they gonna throw that at? That was so weird. I don't really know what I just saw. Zuka at all. Like that last game was triple Zuka, I think, wasn't it? I don't know how I got away with that. I just don't believe that I didn't hit anyone there, to be honest. <laughs> I just don't believe that was a real thing that happened. I'm gonna be honest. I get that a lot in this game though, like... I don't know. Maybe it's a connection issue thing. Oh, this freaking pole. This shouldn't have collision, I'm sorry. These like little poles like this should not have collision. They're just, like, why are they there? Some of the some of the poles they added on on Mahi Mahi now 
don't have collision. Why can't they not have collision? Okay, they're, they're so slow. Okay. I hate having um, point sensors on. Probably because I'm such a... Such a carbon... I shouldn't. I literally saw them. I was like, nah, they're not going to do anything. Of course they're going to do something. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, come on, really? I feel like I should have got that kill. So bad at this weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm less good at shooters in general, to be honest. the daily stuff. I don't think I did. Oh, is a a brown. Isn't it delightful? Play and easy. Yes, was a was a brown. I can I found your door. We sing out more and more and more and more and more now. I hate tickets. I hate food tickets. I really wish there were no food tickets at all in the vending machine. Hmm. Bum bum bum. Ooh. Oh. That's a bit shit, isn't it? Oh. I spent too much money on that shop. I would like that Shellendorf skeleton, though. Let's pick something else. What's the day buff? They buffed the rollers, I know they did. But I've already done a roller. They buffed this. Didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, this is buffed. Okay. I feel like it did. I feel like it was difficult. I feel like it was more difficult to get um to get three shots with this before, and I feel like I'm getting it a lot more. Let's go for. Do I go for tower control? I don't think I do. I kind of wish it was splat zones on that rotation. I'm not gonna lie. I would be more okay with that, but that is also because of the weapon I'm using. I might just go into... Yeah, let's go into Tower 4 again. Hmm. Mm-mm. Actually, let's go into Rainmaker. I'm going to Rainmaker more. I like Rainmaker, it's my favourite one. I'm 
I'm still so disappointed that Mahi Mahi doesn't have that route. Um, that, um, that inkable war route. I'm so bummed out about that. Because that'd be so good. This weapon is quite cool though, isn't it? Like, look at it. It looks a bit like Nautilus, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Hmm. How many weapons do not have a third kit yet? Three weapons. Ah, uh, okay. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I'll figure that out in a minute. I'm kind of hoping they introduce a third weapon to all of the ones that are left in the next patch. The next, not patch, the next, um, season. Again, no Trizookas. And this is open. You'd expect it more in open. Because teams. But nope. I'm not seeing very much of it. That's definitely another part of this. Like, people do not want to use Trizooka. Like, I, I... I don't know where this person... I'm seeing, saying, the casual, casual players are quitting more. I don't know where they're getting that from, because it's just, they're just, Trizuka Meta doesn't even exist here. I've played a lot of games and I've seen, like, what? They, they've barely shown up. <laughs> People do not want to play this weapon. with curling bomb buff I would have gone all the way down to 60 I don't like the 65 percent I still think it's too much I didn't used to think it was too much but I was doing it based on like realism rather than rather than game design okay that was very cool thank you for that I'm not close enough. Mm. Oh, I thought I got it. Shit. Run out of ink. Run away. Whoa. Shit. Damn it. Okay. This is tough. Boom, boom. Hey, bitch. I think that's another point, though, like, against this being worse. I think Crab Tank's, like, overall easier to use, maybe? Because of that more? That, like, guaranteed protection? Like, I think that helps people to pick it up. I was not close enough to that, I'm sorry. I think that helps people pick it up. I don't like the... Hmm. I think that's a part of my criticism of Rainmaker, actually, is I don't like the, um... Tent? How did that get me? Something I don't like about this mode. This is my favourite mode, like... Like, it's my favourite mode, like, I don't... I'm not going to pretend like I hate this mode, but my big criticism for it is that the shield is too lethal. Like, I feel like it should only kill like that if you're standing really close. Like, you should just take a lot of damage if it, 
It should have a blast radius, is what I'm saying. Like... Um... It should have a blast radius that does lesser damage. I don't like that if you're within the radius, you just die. Like, that's, that's so silly to me. It should... They should nerf the shield. Because the shield is part of what makes it difficult to pick it up for a lot of people, I think. Because they don't want to stand near it. Because they don't want to stand near it and risk being exploded. Ah, I should have moved. They don't want to stand near it and risk being exploded, so... Because they're standing so far away, when it pops open... They struggle to push forward and then actually... You know... Get to using it. Eh. Oh, come on. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Okay, I thought the person up here was... Well, on their team. Oh, bitch. Ah, they just have to stall, damn it. I think that was the team. They weren't doing amazingly, though. Twenty-one weapons currently don't have a second kit. It's quite a lot. Um, questionably, they may not. They may not make. Kits. They may not finish the kits this time. I think they. I think you know they've done a lot more since side order was announced. That was the big thing everyone was waiting for, like when Side Out uh, is announced and especially when it's released, they'll be putting more work into the updates of the game. And I, I think that's true. I think that's so far been shown to be true because they're now coming out with Splatterween and also they're, they're finally getting on improving the maps, you know? They've been doing a lot since the Side Order trailer. So... I think that was correct. I think that was correct speculation that that was gonna happen. And, uh... I think, uh... I think that shows a lot, so... I think that- I think we'll get more kits next season. If we don't, it's very disappointing. It's not good luck. But, I think we'll get a lot. I think it's possible that... In fresh season next year, we see the last of the second kits, and then maybe a couple third kits. Like we get started on it, and we find out what kind of collection they've got to get going on. Because in Splatoon One, it was Sheldon's picks. Splatoon Two, it was Kenza. We'll see what they do in this game. I think what they'll do is they'll come out in fresh season. They'll come out with the last of the second kits. And then they'll, then they'll bring in some, uh, some of the, uh, some of Shelton's picks. I think they'll come out with a, I think they'll come out with Grim Range Blaster. Maybe they won't. I don't think they will, actually, never mind. What are Shelton's pick weapons? They might come in with a Dynamo Roller. It's 
Quiff. No. Ink brush. Slosher. So this slosher, maybe. I can see them coming out with that. <laughs> I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, yeah. I should have saw that come in. That 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 kills really fast actually. I don't know if I like that. I think that's kind of overtuning it a little bit. They might have. I don't know, we'll see. I shouldn't influence it based on one one issue where I was using a very slow weapon. Okay, I definitely got them. I don't know why that didn't. They should have applied the uh, the tactical debuff where you can throw it further. They should have also applied it to thing the wave breaker. The buff should have just been inklings are now stronger. Please move more. Oh, we're in the lead anyway, it's fine. At the moment. Just hide into this. So maybe a new 
a variant of them. Of the subtype. Mm-hmm. 